We're back here with more Ark Survival Ascended, part of our Maximum Survivor series. And we have to do something about these Megatherium because they keep taunting me every single time I come over here. And it's it's time. It's time to get them. Look at this guy. Oh, girl. One, four, five. There's another one up this way. That's one. I have to tame them. I have to tame them because we have to start working on some boss dinos and things like that. But unfortunately, I do not have kibble and I can't make kibble right now. I do have the RGs kind of making eggs, but I kind of want them, you know, the fertilized eggs. I, I want those eggs and they're not making any like passive eggs. So I don't I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so it's uh, it's a problem. So we're going to have to get some honey and I don't want to tame a bee. I, I, I don't want to do it. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, so right now, I think I'm just going to go grab some honey, which I can try and find some by green obelisk. And that's what we're going to try and do right now. So then I can tame up those maybe make Ethereum because, yeah, they every time I go by there, I'm like, please just stay a little bit longer. Please just stay a little bit longer. Maybe at some point we'll tame a bee, but I'm just getting impatient. <laughs> I want to tame these things now when they're right in front of me. So I will meet you when I find some uh, honey. So I've been looking around green ob for quite a bit and uh, I don't see any. I don't see any bees. I don't see any beehives. I I don't I don't see any. <laughs> um, I try to like bring you guys along with stuff and I don't want to just be like, hey, I was looking for stuff and then I didn't find anything. But I feel like that's kind of part of this game sometimes. And yeah, while I was over here, I or while I was making my way over here, I remembered a place where I could actually get some pretty close by to where I live. So maybe I'll try and go back there. If not, then we're going to have to go into the stinky, stinky redwoods and try to find some. But ugh, I don't want to go in the redwoods. So I'm usually a pretty patient person, but the thing is, like, look how much stuff is over here. There's so much stuff always over here all the time. Look at this Karno over here doing stuff. And yeah, I just feel like I can't leave these guys here anymore. Look at all these day duns. I have to get rid of all these day duns first. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to dirty tame this uh, girl here. <laughs> we're just going to just use meat. And that's what we will do. Hopefully these other day downs don't follow me. And we have to get rid of everything bad in the area so we can do this. There's a Carno there. This other Megatherium. Uh, I think I will try and trap the Megatherium first and then try to try and get out. So yes, we will bring you up to your floating brethren here. Boom, 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 boom. Headshot, headshot, boom. All right, there was another one there. Oh, should get some stam first. <laughs> Just got all these floating pigs. Ooh, the figs are flying, guys. Yes, but I will have, I will have you old pinky over there. What's well, another day on? There is Carnos. Let's get rid of these Carnos. Oh, nice. There's a baby here. That will be good for Prime because Megatherium eat meat. So you can feed the meat. Uh, it's it's going to take a lot longer. I mean, I would rather have done it with honey, but I couldn't find any honey and I don't want to go into the redwoods right now. So we are going to have to do this this way. I didn't have enough eggs for kibble. Like I got RG's breeding and stuff, but, you know, they're slow. They're slowly getting enough. They're slowly getting enough eggs. But my cooking situation and everything like this is not good. It's just not ideal. I. I'm the type of person who I like to have like a fully functioning base before I go and do stuff. So that's why like this is like really, really bother me too. Where this other guy come from? You see this other Carno? The baby grew up. The baby <laughs> killing its parent made it grow so, so fast. Yeah, I did see one over there too, but OK, we're going to try and clear out everything we can. So I'm going to need you guys for nature. Are you going to eat your buddy? Is that what you're doing? What are you doing? Level 10. All right, cool. OK, so we got floating pigs, dead Carnos. Uh, this other Megatherium isn't that big of a deal. 
At least it shouldn't be. I think I got rid of all the Deodons, because that's what we want. So, because the Deodons will definitely make my life harder. Um, let's put this here. We'll put this right here. Now, you can get pretty close to them. Oh, this is only a level 10. Great. Okay, so what I want to do here is we're going to do some of this. Oh, no. That was my chance. That was my chance. Uh, pick it up. Okay. Let's try this again. I have to be quick about it. Maybe put one in front of you. This. Oh, come on. They're just going to go around it. Okay, so we got to be quick. Got to be quick. Don't. Don't go in front of me. Spam. 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 Woo. Come on. Here. And one more. Yes. Got it. That's it. That's it. Okay, let's take out this other Megatherium, and then we can tranquilize her in peace. Or peace. Peace-ish. Ish. Let's take out this other one. Because that's just going to help with the resistance here. Let's take you out. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. That should be it. That should be it, guys. All right. We're going to start tranking you out then. I don't think headshots matter. You won't be able to do anything. Nice. Now, this is a pretty good bow, so it shouldn't take too many shots. Shouldn't take too many. Oh, this is great. Okay. Hopefully, nothing bad happens to us. A uh, shark comes out of nowhere and eats me. Or the pigs come back to life. But should be okay. Sometimes I uh, wish I used a magnifying glass, but you have to get so freaking close. It's stupid. It's really stupid. Yeah, so we're going to do this to the other one that's up there. There's a lot more things to kill up there, but keep thinking something's coming after me because I'm flying pigs. How many did we pump into her already? Maybe like 20? Shouldn't take too many more. Come on, this is a really good bow. You don't have too many left. And then what we can do is I think what I should do is make sure she's good first. So at least I have one good Megatherium and then try and get the other one because I feel like things get messed up whenever you're greedy, you know, whenever. No, what is that? <laughs> whenever you get greedy, that's when things get bad. You almost there? Come on. There we go. She's out. Yes. Okay. So what we need to do, uh, I know there's Perlovias up there. What we need to do is we'll feed her. Yes. Here's a baby. Sorry, little baby. Come over here. It's also your parents. Yes, the tragedy continues. Come here. There we go. All right, we're going to eat this baby and we're going to feed that to uh, Megatherium. But there, is that an RG? It's an RG. Oh, we got to get rid of this RG. I don't want you messing with my Megatherium. Nope, 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 nope. You were a little too close for me, buddy. 55. No worries. Yeah, we just got to be careful here because things just creep up on you so fast. There's wolves, Deodons, RGs, all kinds of stuff, you know? And it's like, we just, yeah, it's, I'm not going to risk trying to run away and go somewhere else. 
Come on. More hit. There we go. See, the Archies fall out the sky. That's kind of funny. The Archies fall out the sky. But, uh... Not anything else. Everything else floats in the sky. Alright. Do we have any prime? Yes, we do. Let's, uh... Let's transfer all the prime meat over to me right now, and then I'll just feed this to you. Oh, you're only half. Okay, so prime, there you go. There we are. What's that over there? Okay, it's just a deer. All right, I'm gonna get you some more prime, and you should not take that long to get up, to be honest. Is this the baby? Is the baby? Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a lot longer than I wanted it to just because, but it's still doable. Okay, so if you don't have honey, you can use meat. And this works the same for mutton and stuff. Like mutton will probably actually be better. But I don't see any sheep around. Just this deer. Y'all messed up, man. You got the scars and stuff. All right, we shall wait. Yeah, the effectiveness isn't that bad. It just takes longer. That's it. So, ooh, we're almost there. One more feeding. Oh, someone's starting something. Ooh, there's so many wolves. Okay. Play that deer leads them away. Get up before. Come on. I don't want them coming down here. I think the deer led them away, maybe. Eat your food. Yes. Yes, we got it. All right, let's. Uh, we actually have one cryopod, so let's cryopod you. I'm going to put you back at base and then we're going to come and get this other guy. Here we go. I mean, look at the levels and take all this. Let's go. I think this should work because I did actually put a cryo fridge in there now. So this should work. Yes. Nice. Look at her. She's pink. She already looks mutated. Pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not going to know what's what here until we get the other one here. And then we'll figure out what we need as far as health and melee and stamina and all that stuff. But yeah, we got our first boss dino. This is great. Okay, so. We're going to go and get that other one real quick because uh, it seems like there was so much stuff happening there all the time. Let's hurry up and get back over there. And this one's going to be a little bit scarier to do just because there's always so much stuff around this one. I've seen this one a few times. I don't even know if it's still there. Uh, we could check. But uh, this is one of the reasons why it's like I want to get a Quetzal, but like mm, there's only so many dinos. Like we're going to have to tame Rexes. We're going to have to tame some Rexes. We're going to have to tame some Therese. You can pick up fairies with a Quetzal, but not Rexes. So I just feel like a lot of the dinos that we're going to be getting, we can't we can't pick them up, you know? So we might have to just do little traps and stuff. Where was that Perlovia piece of poop? It was over here. I was flying down low one time, and uh, I, I assume it didn't get killed. The mammoths are the only ones keeping uh, everything at bay. Actually, let's check these wolves real quick. Maybe one of them... Well, they did. <laughs> I was going to say, who's the pack leader? Level 25? Oh, 95. Little Dinko. All right. Yeah, he's, they're getting messed up. Okay, so we ain't got to worry about them. Uh, Where is that other Megatherium? That one was also pink from what I remember. Either pink or blue. It was like a, it was a different color, though. I remember that. Uh, It was kind of in this area. It might not be here anymore. It might not be here. Oh, that would suck. Because I had a whole thing. Every See, it's because I waited too long. I waited too long. Mm. There's a saber tooth here. What level are you? 100? Because I need a cave dino, too. I mean, I kind of want a Thyla. I know I said I didn't want to go in the Redwoods, but I don't want to go in the Redwoods. But I will go in there for a Thyla. 
I just feel like that that's a whole other mood, you know, guys? Like, it's a whole other thing. Like, when I'm ready to go in the Redwoods, I'm like, I'm in it. I'm I'm there. That's what I'm doing. I don't think this Megatherium is this far up. Is it? Is it you? No, it's a no, Megatherium. Hmm. I hope he didn't get got. I really hope so. Oh, man. Because that, that sucks. Because, like, I feel like on the island, Megatherium are really, really hard to find at a high level. And there was just two here. Just, it's crazy to me. Like, there's another alpha over here. Oh, man. That's going to be a bummer. He might be dead. He might be dead. All right, let's let's go back. Let me see if I can find him. I'm not losing hope for the 140 Megatherium. See, now, now I'm glad that I dirty tamed her, you know, like <laughs> I'm glad I did that because I didn't lose any efficiency. It just takes a little bit longer, but I don't know, like my taming rates are I wouldn't say they're super high. They're just high enough because it's, it's just me. It's just me playing on the server. So I, um, you know, if I'm playing by myself and stuff like I don't. What am I waiting for? The only thing that's annoying is like other things that are around. That's it. Like, I don't need to wait forever. Yeah, I don't I don't think this Megatherium's alive anymore. Like he was hanging out over here. Oh, there's a red drop over there. Figures. Uh, let me go up in here. Maybe maybe he wandered back towards the mountain. The mountain's calling him. Megatherium, please. So that's going to be a whole big bummer. And the thing is, like, we don't even need to get dinos like this. We can get them however we want to. But I figured that I would try to do the boss dinos. I feel like with the best dinos to defeat each boss. And Megatherium are it. They're they're it for the brood mother. And I mean, I don't know how many of you guys saw my Fjordor playthrough. Megatherium are kind of OP. Like, I don't know. They were they they, they were my uh, jam. But I don't think I don't think this other one's here. Doesn't look like it. Now, my, he might have died. He might have died. That's a Deodon. Yeah, because they were fairly close to each other. Unless it wandered all the way up here, which I don't think it did. Oh, man, that sucks. Why you do this to me, game? I mean, I guess I did it to myself because I waited so long because I wanted to tame them with honey. I didn't want to get the said honey, so... Let that be a lesson to you guys. Uh, when you see stuff, do it. Do it. You got to do it. You got you, you to gotta do it. You got to stop and drop... Whatever you're doing, ooh, due to Rannis now, level 20. All right, he's going to die. Are you going to die? Maybe? Need those lungs. Man, see, this place is ghetto. Like, <laughs> I went away for two seconds. And look, all these punks roll in. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this Megatherium, though. Dang. Well, that sucks, man. Mega theorem up here, no. Now I feel like I should just go look for mega theoriums. You know what? Since I didn't do the honey thing, yeah, maybe maybe I'll look for mega theoriums a little bit. I'll go scan things, and uh, maybe I find a high level one. It's not it's not gonna be a problem bringing it back because I do have a cryopod, so. Maybe that's maybe that's the move. Let's uh let's look for a little bit. Let's look for a little bit. And maybe we can find one. Oh, it just sucks that it was like so close. Yeah, hey, here's that 135 U Tyrannus. Uh I would tame this, but I mean I don't have anything for that one too, and I mean this is a super dangerous area. I mean if it stays in the water like that, I could just <laughs> kinda shoot it. It's kinda stuck. But then it's going to fall in the water and then it's going to drown in the water. It's probably not the best. Uh, I don't know. It's like I really should tame that. I'm going to leave it there because the thing is, it's like 
I don't know. I, I feel like, and I don't know if the spawns are different, but I feel like there's much more new Tyrannus. Like, I see them a lot. Like, so I don't want to sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I'll be lucky and find another high level one. I mean, that's the highest level one I've seen so far, but I have seen like a few over level 100. I mean, 100 is not great. You kind of want it to be at least over 130. I feel like when you're looking for like boss dinos, you want them to be over 130. What are you? Oh, hidden aloe over here. <laughs> like, I don't even know if I want aloes. Like, I feel like the only reason you tame aloes is for the ice cave, but I don't know. I feel like doing the ice cave a little differently. And that's the thing, like, when you're when you're playing through, you don't have to do it. Like, like this is step one, this is step two, this is step three. You can do whatever way is fun. Like, there, I've played the island so many times, so it's just, you know, you try different ways, you want to try different things, and, you know, especially with ASA, a lot of things are different now, so it's like I want to try different stuff that I haven't tried before. It's a 140 Anki. I'll take you home, yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's really cool colors, too. I'm gonna drop you off here. Yeah, I didn't find any Mega Ethereum, but I'm gonna tame this Anki real quick. Make sure everybody's on passive. And here we go. Hopefully you don't mess with any of my stuff. Pop. 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 Yeah, but that's kind of a bummer about that Mega Ethereum, man. Like, that's why you got to tame stuff when you see it. I don't know. I was being stubborn. I'm really hard headed sometimes. <laughs> so. Oh, man. You running away already? Away. No way. Messing with none of my dinos. It's going to go to my greenhouse and break all my stuff. What are you doing, man? There he goes. He's out. Yeah. Wow, so 140 Anki. Because uh, we do need... We do need some better metal... Metal gathering, we definitely need that. Uh, right now, I kind of just do it by hand, even though I have a bunch of Ankies. I'm just doing it by hand. And eventually, I would want some kind of metal outpost, which is always great to have. And then, you know, you can just pick up the ingots as you need to. There's plenty of berries here. And we're just gonna plop that on you. You'll probably not take that long to tame up. I don't know. Either way, you're just sleeping here, nice and sound. Now, I got a bazillion RGs. This RG, uh, I don't even know what this RG is doing. None of these RGs are good. Uh, I started breeding some more RGs just so we could have more females, so I could get some more eggs, so I could try to get some kibble start. Can you move? Everyone had a fit when there was one RG baby uh, born over here, so. What, what's that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's the free RG. <laughs> I didn't even know this RG was here. Uh, all right. Is, is it any good? No. No, I think I think at the good stats there. <laughs> all right. Who's breeding? I see hearts there. Dang, couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Anyways, okay. So what do we got here? We got the dung beetle, and uh, look at his name. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys will get the reference there, but I uh, someone suggested I put his TV back, so. There it is. He's got his little TV. He's got a cryo fridge. I mean, he's living it up in here. It's probably way better than that stinky, nasty, musty cave. You get to be surrounded by all these like fruits and vegetables and TV and nice things and stuff. And then uh, I raised up the Dimetrodon that I got from Raptor Paws. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. It's just that, you know, it's a Dimetrodon. And it does help with actual breeding and everything. So that's... Uh, Pretty useful. You can just make uh, if you level up melee, they're actually really good at being an air conditioner. So, I mean, that's great for a situation right now because we have absolutely nothing. We have nothing. 
I mean, we have a lot and we have nothing at the same. Who is breeding out here? I can't even get out. Who is making babies out here? And then there's over raptors over here slacking. You slacking on the on the stuff, man. What are you doing? Like, yeah, he really only picks up one egg at a time. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know if there there can't be a barrier or something, maybe. I don't know. Let me have it come out. If I have it come out, that's a fertilized egg. Okay, that's why. That's a fertilized egg. But I don't know. I, I could just switch all that. Let me see. Both. Okay, so even if he's following me, he'll still pick it up. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's just like this is I feel like the first RG egg that I've gotten. And I have at least two whoever you are. Oh, you're a boy. Okay, so I have at least two females. At least two. And one RG egg? Like that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure this situation out here. Get up here. Okay. You come over here. There we go. Alright. So we got that here. Nice. Okay, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to start fixing this situation. I know I keep saying it every single episode, but for sure, next episode, we are building. We have to. We have to, because, like, this is a mess. And it's like, I'm, I I look a mess. Like, my stuff's unorganized all over the place. Dino's all over the place. RG's keep making babies. Like, I just... I need some organization in my life. So, yeah, we're definitely, definitely for sure going to have to get to building. And we won't have these mega Ethereum over me, making me think that I have to do something over in that direction. I mean, if I go over there and I find another one, I'm going to tame it. I'm going to. I have to. But for now, we have this 140. At, or it was 145. It was a 145 that tamed out at 217. It was almost perfect team. Almost perfect. As far as the stats go, I'm going to have to compare these to some Mega Theorem I had in the past before, but like, I think these numbers are pretty high. I think, I, I really think they are. Uh, what we want is we're going to want some health Mega Theorem and then some melee Mega Theorem. So the way that I usually do breeding is I'll do two separate lines because to be honest, I really only care about health and melee. And sometimes on a certain dino, it just depends on the dino. Sometimes you care about stamina, but for the most part, health and melee, if you're trying to breed for boss dinos. So we're going to have to get you a guy early. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're really strong already. It's too bad uh, he <laughs> met his demise over there. <laughs> but here, let me let me let me get in here so we can say goodbye to the folks. Yes. But I would say that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. <laughs> I look like a little baby. <laughs> so if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Thanks for hanging out with me and take care.